Um, how would you evaluate your summer camp so far? Uh, I think it's been unique, you know? I mean, obviously for everyone, it's been a little bit different. And for me, I, I just got back out on the field and, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that I'm able to go out there and, and play. But, you know, I want to I want to hit a little bit better right now. I've been kind of, you know, not getting the results that I wanted, but uh, the sim game yesterday felt felt good. It felt like I finally started to feel like myself in the box. So I would say as far as evaluating, I'm, I'm going to try to end it with a bang. I'm going to try to end it, you know, offensively really good and just go out there and continue to feel good on defense. How did you feel defensively? I know they had been holding you back a little bit because of that plantar fasciitis. I felt good, you know, I mean, I caught the ball that was hit to me, so uh, you know there's no there's no negatives there. But I haven't really had a lot of um, a lot of action out in the you know left field, right field. But you know hopefully tonight I'll I'll get a little bit more, and through the end of camp I get some more. But I'll, all positives moving forward so far. Do you allow yourself to think as things are winding down here, less than a week from opening day, where do I fit into this roster? Uh, I mean I think it's pretty natural to you know let your mind wander to those areas, but. You know, something I've learned the last couple of years is to stop trying to play GM. You know, um, I I have a role. I don't know what that role is going to be. And I guess as the season continues to unfold, we'll, we'll figure out what all of our roles might be. But, you know, hopefully it's one that gets to play a big part and, and a consistent role if I, if I earn it. Clint, thank you so much. Thank you. Any other questions for Clint? Sweeney Murdy, please unmute your line. Clint, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, man. Hey, uh, when you made the decision to talk about the decision last week about wearing a mask, uh, a lot of us took that as a responsible sign, a sign of maturity. And that's something that, you know, you've kind of wrestled with, I think, a little bit the last couple of years, at least publicly, media and all that. Um, I was wondering how you felt about the perception that you know, you were maybe starting to grow up a little bit. And even what you said about stop trying to play GM, how uh, how you feel that's gone for you? Um, it, it was interesting. You know, I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of positive feedback. I got a lot of negative feedback as well. You know, just from wearing the mask. You know, a lot of people have their own opinions, but the way that I'm trying to to go about it is it's it's my decision. You know, and, and our teammates need to to stay safe and as long as we continue to continue or continue to band together and, and try to stay safe with this, we'll finish the season probably where we want, which is hopefully, you know, hoisting a trophy and, and being World Series champs. But the only way to get there is to to stay healthy and to, to stay together. And as far as the maturity thing goes, you know, I mean, I don't really put too much thought into that. There's a lot of people that have said things about me that don't even really even know me. Um, so it doesn't really affect me with what they say, but if they're thinking that I'm growing up, I guess that's uh, I guess that's positive right now. Thanks, Clint. Thank you. We'll take our next question from James Wagner. James, would you please unmute? Hey, Clint, what's up? I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, just kind of curious, like during the time away, uh, like during the pause in this season, and even going forward from now, obviously you won't get to do as much like live in-person hitting if you want to do a lot of extra hitting. It's harder to do that uh so i guess a long-winded way of asking like do, do you do the concept of like visualization and, and do you use virtual reality like did you use that before do you hope to use that going forward as a way to like keep your mind active and you know thinking and seeing at that but actually doing them if that makes sense are you talking about more like my own visualization or the yeah. actual vr like like the both i mean your stuff? own and then because some people consider it virtual reality is like a way to help do that you know you're because, envisioning yourself. Yeah, because there is a brand out there that is that you put the goggles on and, and they yeah. actually have the real at bats that you can, you know, tra uh, track the pitches. And I I actually looked into to buying one of those, but didn't know where we stood with the season and didn't want to spend, you know, over twenty five hundred dollars on something that I might not use if we didn't play. But as far as, you know, visualizing goes, I. I didn't really do too much of that. It was more just getting in the, uh, the cage and, and turning the fastball machine up as high as it could go. You know, I mean, obviously, I like to, to visualize before the at-bats, during the at-bats, after the at-bats. But as far as just needing the reps, I was just getting as much off the machine and live BP as I could. But it was, it was hard to come by live BP, so it was a lot of time in the cage with the guy that was thrown to me. 
And do you try to look, like go through at bats though? Like whether I mean lying in bed, take a shower, like on the way to the park, like you feel yourself hitting. Do you do that? Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, there's there's two sides of it. Um, it's fun to visualize, you know, what you did positive, but it's not fun to visualize what you did negative. And, you know, in the off season, I had a lot of uh, a lot of time to visualize what my role was going to be. So I was continuing to watch the videos of what I did in spring, um, and you know, try to continue to push that positive feedback that I had in spring and bring it into camp and. You know, obviously the numbers right now, I don't even know what the numbers are, but I'm not hitting the way that I want. So I do think it would be a positive thing to, you know, probably try to visualize myself having some some really good at-bats moving forward because it does help to kind of do the pre-stages of what could come if you if you put yourself in the right position. Thanks, man. We'll take the next question from Ken Davidoff. Ken, please unmute. Hey, Clint. Uh, I had one other question for you. Just to follow up uh, on what you were talking with Sweeney, you said you got negative feedback about wearing the mask. Is that people you know or in the game or just like morons on social media? It was the social media stuff, yeah. you know. Uh, I got called a sheep uh, by some people. Um, but it's all good, you know. I mean, obviously, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But with the situation that we're in with how fragile – you know, this, uh, this virus is for some people, I'm, I'm not really too worried about the negative feedback because moving forward, I think it's the right thing to protect myself, others around me and, and everyone else that everyone goes home to, you know, cause it, it has affected us and we want to, we want to win the world series and the way to do that is to, to be healthy. So, you know, if it means wearing a mask upsets people, I don't really, I'm not really too worried about that one as far as, you know, what the ultimate goal is here, which is to, you know, make it out of this safe and win a world series. And uh, my original question was just uh, Garrett goes tonight and uh, I have a hunch he'll start opening night as long as he's healthy. Uh, just just how excited you are to, to play behind him and, and just to, uh, what it's been like getting to know him uh, these last few months. It's been cool, you know, because obviously what he's done the last couple of years is is what's built him up to who he is right now. And to finally be able to to see it firsthand and to have to face this guy every other day is, is frustrating, but it's exciting. You know, obviously I'd like to go out there and face someone that probably wasn't as talented as Garrett just so I could get my own, <laughs> my own confidence up tonight. But knowing that he's on our side of the ball and, and going to be doing, you know, obviously what he's really good at, which is striking guys out and getting outs is going to be fun to, to either play behind or, or watch from the stands wherever, wherever I'm going to be. But, He's been cool, man. I mean, he's he was sitting out there watching Clark Smith throw in the the sim game yesterday, so you can tell that he's he's engaged in a lot of areas, whether it's you know for the young pitchers or he he was even watching some guys hit BP in the the batting cage the other day. So it's it's interesting to see how uh, interactive he's been with both sides of the ball, offensively and and pitching side too. Thank you, Clint. <clears throat> Thanks, Ken. We'll go to Ron Blum. Ron, would you please unmute? Hey, Clint. How are would you? you look good? How are you? Good. As you look at the expanded rosters in the first four weeks of the season, does that enable you to relax your approach at all? Just knowing with four extra players the first two weeks, two extra, then after that, that there's less of a chance of shuttling back and forth and you can just relax and uh, sort of let yourself show what you can do? Uh, definitely, definitely. But, you know, the thing is we – I'm not trying to get too relaxed with how many guys that we have on the uh, the roster that could play on other teams as well, you know. So it's it, – it, like I'm competing against guys that could be on starting teams on a lot of other teams. So I don't want to get too relaxed in the sense of that I'm – you know, concrete in the spot, but you know, I am I am happy that the roster's expanded. That way, I can continue to try to get my feet wet and continue to try to, you know, obviously make a positive out of any opportunity that I'm given. Thank you. 